Fourth of July celebrations are kicking off this weekend. Republics have a blast celebration. We'll get underway in just a few minutes. Color 10's Parker Paget is live at, in Republic at that festival this evening. Parker, describe what's going on around you tonight. Ice cold beverages all night long. And yeah, then, doors open at six. Sure People are really starting to file in now. We'll give you a look at what that looks like soon. But check them out. yeah, you got a stage right here behind me. They're doing some introductory remarks at this time. Live music starts at 6:15. But yeah, take a look at the crowd so far here. A lot more people than when we last spoke to you at five o'clock. The inflatables are up and running. Plus the petting zoo. There's food trucks and vendors as well. We spoke to a lot of people associated with this, whether it's for those people putting the event on, some people selling food, or even a Republic family who says when it comes to Thank fireworks, you, they have the best seat in the house. Thank you. We've been here about 14 years now and we don't miss it. Tonight's the 28th annual Have a Blast in Republic and Wayne Hebblethwaite believes he's got one of the best spots in the house, his front yard. We love it and we always have a big crowd that sits here with us. It's great. I mean, you don't have to drive or get to your car and go home. You can just uh, pack up and walk in the door. Just down the road, the setup continued Friday afternoon. We came out here on Wednesday, started mo marking all of our booth spots, um, and then Thursday we did all of our fencing stage, um, and then we've been out here since 8 a.m. this morning, and we plan to be here till about 1 a.m. Ashley Lubert is the special events administrator for the City of Republic and says thousands flock to J.R. Martin Park each year. We expect around 15,000 each year. The weather is amazing this year, so we're hoping to see that go up. And um, kind of hard to get a guesstimate, but we can look at um, cell service in the area and kind of get a guess on how many people are here. Dozens of vendors are on hand, some local and some not. I think we have a couple from Arkansas, and then a lot are going to be local. Including Tim Latham, who's from Arkansas, but helping a Springfield group with concessions tonight. This is our third year with Jerry here, so yeah, we keep coming back for the crowd. We, we love doing what we do. Uh, we serve good mood foods for people, and we hope they enjoy it. And it kind of kind of a trade-off. The part Latham and thousands in attendance came to see won't go off until 10 p.m. tonight. It is approximately 15 minute pyro musical firework display, which means it does go to the songs. So anytime you hear a big beat or something from a song, there's going to be a big boom. Thanks to a couple additional organizations. Burlington Northern Railroad. Now, if you're still interested in coming out to the event tonight, parking wise, I'm told that the middle school lot right next door to J.R. Martin Park is an option. Other options include schools in the general vicinity of the event tonight. Reporting live in Republic, Parker Paget, Color 10 News.